Hi everyone, this is my first video for 2023. It features a beautiful stamp by Picket Fence Studios called Plumeria Rubra. This floral is nestled in a stenciled background using a really interesting stencil called Trapezoid Spiral. I began by stamping the image on Canson XL watercolor paper using Picket Fence Studios Black Hybrid Ink. This is a very versatile ink and can be used for any medium. The image is being watercolored with Magello Mission Gold watercolors. This is one of my favorite sets of paints. There are lots of color choices and I love that there's an open design in the palette so that you can easily mix colors. The size of brush that I reach for most often is a number eight. Although watercoloring may seem intimidating, there are a few easy tips that can be followed to make this a really pleasant experience. I'm using a technique called wet on wet, which is a nice, easy way to get a gradient of color. This simply means that water is applied to the area that you're working on before the color is introduced. The water acts like a dam, so there's no need to worry about paint going outside of the lines. Where the water is applied, that will be the area that the color is contained in. So because of this, it is important that you only work on petals that are bordered by the background or other petals that are completely dry. Otherwise, the paint will travel into those areas. It is important to test the areas for dryness before you start painting. Watercolor paper is designed to hold water. So even when it may seem dry, it may not be. And a really easy way to see if there is still moisture in the paper is to lightly touch it. If it is cool to the touch, it's not dry. If it's room temperature, you're good to go. The color palette for this entire floral is very minimal. I'm using a rose-colored pink for all of the petals and then a fresh green for the leaves. I rely on the technique to create a gradient of color. Where the color is dropped will be more concentrated. The water will help draw that color up and I help it along with my brush. I don't get too hung up on where the light source is when I'm creating my shadows and highlight areas. Typically for all of the petals, I'm dropping the paint in right at the base of the petal so that the color is more concentrated. The leaves are done just a little bit differently. First I apply a complete color wash over the entire leaf with the green. I then go back in and add an additional layer of color to those leaves that are peeking out from behind the petals and where the leaf is mostly exposed just down one side of it to give it some more variation. This helps take away the flat appearance giving the leaves a more natural look. My next step is to stencil the background but first I let my panel dry completely. To help define each of the individual flowers, I'm going to be adding in some color in the centers of each one. Using the handle of my paintbrush, I dip it into yellow gouache and then simply tap it into the center of each flower. Gouache is a water-based paint that is opaque, so those flower centers really stand out. Trapezoid Spiral Stencil comes in different sizes. I'm using the 6x8. I like to use a low-tack tape, in this case post-it note tape, to hold the stencil in place. Paper Glaze Velvet Split Piece Soup, a nice fresh green, is being applied with a mixed media spatula. The floral design is easily seen through the stencil, making it easy to apply the glaze just to the background. I also made sure that I chose a spatula with a narrow nose so that I could get into those tighter areas. 
And after the stencil is carefully peeled off of the panel, I immediately wash both the stencil and the spatula with warm soapy water. I'm using a new word die set for the sentiment for this card, a little note. It has been die cut four times and then stacked. No fiddling with this. The font is thick and it is easy to do. The panel is five and a half by five and a half inches and is being mounted on black cardstock that measures five and five eighths by five and five eighths before going on to a card base that is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And after I had already adhered the stack sentiment to the card, I decided to add in a few more touches using a whole lot of polka dot stencil with paper glitz sparkle. And that completes this card featuring Picket Fence Studios Plumeria Rubra and a beautiful new stencil, Trapezoid Spiral. Watercoloring does not have to be intimidating following some easy tips and tackling it one small piece at a time. Thank you for joining me and as always, I appreciate your visit.